Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Instruments of Destruction and it's important to remember as we're playing this it was built by one person one game developer the legendary Luke Schneider anyway plenty of updates since we last played they've also added this an editor's beta so in here we can literally create our own structure oh my goodness so these are all the structures currently in the game. So there's loads of bridges. Let's get a bridge in there. And yeah, you can literally build this however you want. You can make huge bridges and all sorts. Oh, this is going to be very, very cool. But first, back into Sandbox. Because there's been so many new parts and things. And I have been in the Steam Workshop. Downloading all sorts of things to show them off. So the one that sticks out the most is probably this, the Disco Laser. So if you haven't noticed, they've added lasers to the games. And this one really takes advantage of that. So we can drive this thing around pretty nicely. We can come over, like, let's go, let's go near the building. Let's see, see what happens. Oh, look, we can even spin the top. I'm sure that will come in handy when I press E. Oh, my God. Turn it off, turn it off. Oh, that building is gone. Wow, okay, that was sort of unexpected. Let me zoom out. How far do these lasers go? Holy. Is this, it's so bright. I can hear something falling over that way. Anyway, I feel like this is going to be quite a fun episode. All right, so as that one disappears, the new one will load. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I don't even understand what I'm looking at. Hang on, so what are we even looking at? There's like loads of cannons around the outside. I assume, are they magnets? I love that that's the cab. So his view is just going to be insane. I, I really don't know what I'm looking at. We're just going to have to play this and try and see if we can work it out. This means they've added loads of new parts because that wasn't there before, like huge beams. That sort of looks like it uses the rope builder, but to create straight beams. Oh, we could create a wicked bridge now. Anyway, more pressing issues. So we've got the usual WASDA to move this thing around. There's a building over that way. So in first person, this is literally what we're looking at. Just some buildings. If we then press E. Ow! <laughs> oh, the buildings are still there. Right, so what the hell just happened there? Let's press E again. I don't even understand what I'm looking at. I think they're just lasers. So is this just like a close combat sort of drill thing? Well, let's go poke our tip into this building and see what happens. Oh, okay. So if we look from this side, you can see the towers coming in as we drive through the building. Everything just gets annihilated. And then when we turn it off, wow, you can really... Yeah, okay, that does some damage. <laughs> anyway, lasers definitely seem to be the in thing at the moment. Like, <laughs> this is called the center of heat. Now, looking at the bottom right, we've got quite a lot of controls. I'm noticing ropes on the back as we move. This thing, does it actually move? Oh, wow, okay, so left and right on the keypad. That makes the lasers go in and out. And then up and down. Oh, Dear, we can rotate forwards. <laughs> oh, only only to there, though. I wonder why you wouldn't want to go flat. Anyway, what, what do these other buttons do? So E does that, surprisingly. So we've got a bit of that movement going on. And then R spins it. I'm not sure why we'd want to do that, considering we've got ropes on the back. In fact, what happens if I just try and break those cables? <laughs> This is going to end in tears, isn't it? Oh, it just clipped through itself. Anyway, let's tip this thing forwards and we'll do a long range sort of shots from back here. So I feel like that looks fairly good. So we just press E. Oh. <laughs> okay, that did that did some damage. It's, it's still doing damage. But if we keep that going and then... Oh, and then we focus... Oh man, it's crazy, it comes out the back. So let's aim left into that building. Oh, that building's just gone. <laughs> oh God, can I kill myself? Ah, uh, no way. So where I brought the lasers forward, it just destroyed the grass. It's burnt to a crisp. Anyway, considering I didn't even move, we've done a lot of damage over that. All right, so this time we have... Da, 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 da. Oh, I crashed it. Does this thing actually not fly? I thought we had flying ships now. Well, whilst it looks incredible and we have like, we have thrusters and things. So it looks like we're moving. It doesn't actually float. I think it just needs some balloons on the inside, which I've never played with before, but there's no time like the present, right? So we're looking at the inside. Where the hell do we find the balloons? Probably in flight. Yes, there we go. Balloon. 
So we're going to try and shove some of these in, ideally symmetrically. Oh god, I literally, I can't see what I'm doing. Right, I'm sort of, I'm just looking through gaps and trying to add balloons to places. <laughs> these aren't going to be symmetrical in the slightest. But if we take a look inside, you can see they have filled up, but not enough for us to take off. So, more balloons. Oh, actually, I did a damn good job. Look, I've got the camera back inside. That's well symmetrical. Good work, Matt. Right, but now I'm literally just placing these on any node that would have them. As long as it's inside the ship, it should be all right. Although I have a feeling there's probably a reason why the person who created this didn't do this in the first place. Maybe it's impossible. Maybe there's just not enough balloons to be able to lift this thing. Because I think these are all like super heavy blocks. All right, we're still not airborne. We are still not airborne. I'll tell you what, we need the strength up. Yes. Yes, we need three times balloons. Okay, that'll be better. It's weird because I bet you never thought the Star Destroyers were powered by balloons, did you? Learn something new every day. All right, time to add some to the back wall. I think that will probably help. It's basically just more nodes that I can actually reach. Oh, actually, I've got all these ceiling nodes. All right, here we go then. Maximum parts reached. Oh, dear. All right, we're up. We're up. Oh, no, we're up too much. <laughs> no. How do I turn these down? Da, 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 Right, so I can sort of steer it. It's not really acting like a Star Destroyer. It's more like Boba Fett's one. But still, I think we're heading in the right direction to destroy these buildings. Because being the Death Star, this thing has quite some firepower. Look at the lasers. Just ignore that they're not hitting the buildings. No, 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 we're going into the sea. No. No. Right, perhaps this needs to be a ground attack with the ATST. Oh, good start. All right, I think what we've got to do, we've got to inflate the balloons inside. Yes, yes, yes. Not too high, not too much, Matt. Not too much. We've got to balance this. Okay, that's sort of balanced. We're doing a wheelie. Not entirely sure why. We've made a moonwalk ATST. Right, so I think if we do, is it, is it J and D to do my left and right leg? Oh, God. <laughs> I've tucked my legs up. Oh, I did a jump. <laughs> All right, ready? Boosh. You have never seen an ATSD jump. <laughs> I can assure you. All right, so yeah, this thing has a laser blaster on the front as well. Uh, if only we could spin around somehow. Let's try <laughs> to walk. Oh, dear. Yes, we're walking. We're definitely walking. Come on, paddle. Swim. Well, actually... I feel like we are actually swimming. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is this? What have I become? I'm right, not going to lie. Those things, they're harder to control than you think. Turns out those stormtroopers can't aim for shit. However, our final Star Wars themed vehicle is this. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Probably not. If I zoom out, how about now? No? Okay. How about now? <laughs> yep, it's Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Come on, then. All right, so first off, we pull it back and we go with a ki -ai. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that, that did some damage, that. So what if we keep it at that height? We get a bit closer. Now we've made some space. And then we press that button. <laughs> oh, we are just chopping buildings in two. All right, we've got to keep this going while we head in. This just removes floors of buildings. Oh, I'm so glad this exists. Oh, we can even twist it this way. That's what I'm talking about. All right, next up, we have this one. It's called Random Shape 1. And look at the description. This does nothing. It is just a shape. Maybe you can build something with it. Let's see what you can make. Well, I saw this. And as it loads in, you can probably see what I was thinking. I was thinking, that looks a bit like the strongest shape to me. I am a child. <laughs> I am a child. Censor that out. We can't show you that. We can't show you that. Anyway, something a bit more sensible. It's a blooming warship. Look at this thing. It's got oars. <laughs> Look at the oars go. <laughs> yes. You see, it's got a rudder at the back. That's helping us steer. Oh, we've even got rocket boosters at the back. That really helps us get moving. So if we just move ourselves to look next to this ship, because obviously I assume being a big old warship, we're going to have cannons out the side, right? So if we press G, oh, the flap is up. <gasps> they don't look like normal cannons. 
Oh no, they are cannons. Nice. <laughs> Eat that, you stupid architect buildings. Okay, that was very satisfying. I've noticed balloons on top, but how do I turn those on? So forward and backwards does front and rear cannonballs. Left and right does those cannonballs. What does L do? What the frig? <laughs> look out the front. What the hell? It's like a laser minigun in there. All right, hang on. We've got to get a closer look at this. Right, ready? What? It's got flaps. But look, it's a spinning laser minigun. That's awesome. <laughs> I think perhaps it just makes things lighter. I wonder, will this thing work in the sea? No, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that's floating, guys. <laughs> anyway, now for some really fun stuff. I saw the dev did this, like, building competition. I think he runs them monthly. Uh, and last month's was create a worm. So we're going to start with this one, <laughs> which looks kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and the instructions were press one, two, and then three. So one, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Look at it go! <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. What does DNA do? Whoa! Okay, so we can steer this thing quite nicely. Let's march it into battle and see how it gets on with destroying this architect office. Uh, not great. Not great at all. <laughs> However, this is called the centipede long. We're, we're in the water. We're in the water. <laughs> we got a wet ass at the moment. All right, so what do E and Q do? So we can do a little bit of nibbling, or Q does that. Okay, not... <laughs> that's that's really weird for some reason. Right, anyway, let's let's worm our way over to the map. Right, oh, ooh, ooh, okay, okay. I understand what's going on now. We can literally surround buildings and cripple them from the inside out. Oh man, that one just landed on our back, and it's beautiful. Let's circle this taller one in the middle. And as we get closer, it comes tumbling down. There's just samurai swords everywhere on this thing. And then within seconds, the whole place is absolutely flattened. That is wicked. Fair play. But does it compare to Wormzilla? This is just like a worm covered in circular saws. Uh, we don't have many controls on this. We got Z and S. Okay, so that's forward and backwards, which also controls the saws. Here comes the Wormzilla. All right, let's just go straight in. Oh, yes, Wormy. Yes, Wormy. Although a little bit slow. I thought it might chew through these a little bit easier. I feel like the centipede was more destructive. But this does look cool with the blue glow from the overclocking of parts. The trouble is, this one takes two hands to steer, even though there's only three buttons I'm pressing. <laughs> well, yeah, that sort of did the damage. But what I'm pretty excited for is this. The Devourer of Builds. All right, so how, how does this one move? So the head goes up and down, left and right. Interesting. How does the head move? Oh, We've got some spinning going on. Interesting. <laughs> oh, G and F are this little mouth at the front. What's that? What's that, little mate? Help me. Ah, okay. Okay. I sort of see how this... What? It, it's just drowned itself. All right, anyway, here we go. Here we go. We're getting some height. We're getting... Some... Oh, we're not getting some height. Oh, no. We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. Oh, wow. One of the hardest things I've ever had to steer but look how cool it looks it just doesn't want to survive oh it's back out of the water it's back out of the water no it's back it's back in the water <laughs> here we go gently does it gently does it gently does it go go that way go that way go careful 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 no no right here we go here we go oh, no. right now here we go straight through the middle well it's definitely worming around oh yes body into the building boosh <laughs> This thing is so hard to steer. Ow, ow. I'm eating myself. And that was the end of the Devourer of Builds. But we've also got this one, the Constrictor Connie. This one looks like it's going to be hard to steer as well. Although we've only got we've only got four controls. Oh, my tail is splashing in the water there as well. Right, so what do we do with this? we got E. Okay, so Q turns the circular saw on at the front. Nice. And then just left and right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh man, this one's quite cool, actually. I think it could do some damage with that tail. We're mullering the trees as well. Right, okay, I think I've got this one now. We've got to get close. And then we need to constrict to destroy the buildings. And then whilst that one's sat on our head, in the strongest shape, no doubt, we can then expand and then floosh. 
head goes into the next one. Oh man, this is quite fun actually. Just got to get closer. The tower is coming down. <laughs> and you can see in the background, just all three are just just annihilated. Uh, yeah, that was that was a very good one. We've also got this. Not quite a worm, but look how cool this is. So if you hold W and Q, it like it walks. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> so basically what it's doing is just moving like every other body part at different times. And it does that just by rotating these. But because of the crazy, crazy joints, like I can't even begin to work out how they came up with this. Like look at the joint work going on in there. But incredible. It's actually kind of creepy. Like if you saw that coming towards you, you probably would pull yourself a little bit. I'm not sure how destructive it's going to be. It's sort of, it struggled with that tree a little bit. There you go, it knocked the leaves off. That will do. But what is it going to do when it gets to these buildings? So, building, what's going to happen to you? Oh, it literally, it's walking straight through it. It's literally just walked like there wasn't even a building there. So if we just watch this building from this side, you can see... <laughs> you can see it just smashing its way through. And then <laughs> the building's gone. How... How has it got that much power? Wow, that was unexpectedly amazing. But one that I actually expect to be amazing is the sandworm from Dune. From June. 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 And you can see how this one works. This is really cool. It's got like loads of wheels on the outside. There's also cable in the middle of each part. Oh, wow. Look at this thing go. This is so cool. It's got speed as well. I haven't even turned the circular saws on yet, and it's just eating through buildings. All right, so now they're turned on, and wow, that is quite a sight. All right, are you ready for this? Bloosh! Oh my, that building just got obliterated! All right, ready? Final building. Nom! Oh, it just bores through it like anything. Look at this sight. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, see how it works. Can you see in the middle, it's got like these bits here with this weight. So I think that's sort that's like the joint between each one. And the weight at the bottom, that should sort of keep it like vertical. So that when you turn, do so you see they're like dangling there? So as you turn, it sort of makes sure that you're always turning like on the right plane. That is such a clever bit of engineering. Fair play. Because you can see as it rolls over... Like, now left and right is the complete opposite way round. But the weights, like, rotate in the middle to keep those joints upright. That is so cool. This might be the coolest build I've ever seen in this game. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave that there. Peace, love, and sandworms. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.